Hi, in this video I want to show you some of the features of this wonderful steam mop. First thing you want to do after you put it together, which is pretty easy, is plug it into the wall. Now when you plug it in and you first get it, chances are it's going to be turned on already. I have it set off. To turn it on you just turn this little dial here and it will start to turn on and it gets hot pretty quickly. The directions say something like 25 seconds or 30 seconds, but you can see the steam already starting to rise. So you can just put your foot down and you can start to use it. And you can see it leaves like a film of water and it cleans with steam. Really, really cool. Later on in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the water and how to connect the attachments to this thing and how to attach the carpet glider as well, which I'll show you later in the video. This one is really nice. So I've reviewed a couple different steam mops. One of the things I really like about this one is that when you're done with it, look at this, I can just turn this and it actually turns off. So that might sound weird. You might say, what? You're saying it has an on off button. Yeah, I have uh, two other steam mops that I've reviewed, actually three, and none of them have buttons where you can turn them on and off. You just basically have to unplug them. So this is extra convenient. Really nice, really convenient. Um, another pro tip, and I don't think it says this in the directions, but I have heard that it's helpful to use distilled water when you're using steam mops. It has something to do with the way the inside components work. So pretty cool. Also be careful, this is really, really hot, like you don't want to touch this, so just like let it sit for a while, um, you know, when, when you're not using it. But yeah, the cord itself is pretty long, I would say it's about average compared to the other steam mops I've looked at. The big thing about this one, the one that really sets this one apart from the other ones I've looked at, is that it does have this feature where you can just basically turn it on and off right here. Alright, let's take a look at some of the other features of this awesome steam mop. It comes with a little funnel that you can put in here, and a little cup that you can fill with water. And then you basically pour the water into the funnel and you can fill this awesome steam mop with water when you're done. Just take this, it fits right inside the cup and we're good to go. This is called the mop head and to attach it you basically just line it up here. You see you have little velcro things. They connect to the back of this. So you just basically press firmly and make sure it's attached and then you're good to go. This is the carpet glider. Let's see how easy it is to attach. So we should just be able to push it in here like this. And then there we go. Just snaps in. There we go. It's snapped in and we're good to go. We snap it in down here, here and here. So see it snaps in here, snaps in here, and then it also snaps in over here. Very easy. And you can use this if you decide to use the carpet glider. The handle itself actually does fold as well. If you press this button and turn, you can fold it, which is pretty convenient. And then it locks into place if you choose not to fold it. So again, press, turn, or lock it into place. You can also use it as a handheld steamer. You press this button here, and then this piece comes off. And then here's where you can put in the attachments. You can add attachments to this as well. Basically, you take this piece here, and this snaps in. So you just basically push it in. And now to release this, if you change your mind, you press this button and it comes out. You see that? So snaps in. Then you have different attachments you can add. For example, we have these and we have some more over here. You can see it comes with all kinds of stuff, all kinds of attachments and extra pads that you can use. But let's say we wanted to add an attachment. So you would take, say, this one and then you're good to go. Now you can use a handheld steam mop. When you're done, you just take it off. Again, press this button here. Then you can put it back into your steam mop and use it as a regular device. Pretty cool. Hopefully this video has been helpful and you can decide whether or not this is a good product for you. Good luck.